have a loss of power in my F-150, so I'm gonna plug in my scan tool. Actually, it's a Super Chips programmer that also reads the diagnostic codes. If you don't have a scan tool, you can go to any parts store and they'll scan your car for you. They'll have a OBD2 reader which can tell you your diagnostic codes. Now I needed this Super Chips programmer to reprogram my speedometer for the new tire size and of course for a little bit uh, better performance. And it works great as a scan tool to both read and clear diagnostic codes. So it looks like I have just one code. It's one of one. It's a PO307 cylinder number seven misfire detected. So I'm gonna check out the spark plug on the number seven cylinder. Ford starts numbering on the right side or the passenger side of their engines. So you start with one for their first cylinder, one through four on the right hand side, and then five through eight on the left hand side. So I'm gonna go back one, two, three to the, to the number seven cylinder. And I'm gonna take a look at the coil and the spark plug here. So to start off, I'm gonna get this, this PVC tube out of the way. It's just got a little tab, little plastic tab. You get on the back side of that, push it with your finger and comes out this little tab that way you can move it manipulate it and get it out of the way and i'm going to remove the connector on the coil with my thumb it just pulls out the last time i had them off Used a little dielectric grease on them so they come right off. It's a seven millimeter head size bolt holding that coil on. You can see it right here. Coil just pulls out. I'm going to replace the MSD coil from the number seven cylinder with uh, a new coil. We have a Motorcraft one that I stock here in the shop. I'm going to put some dielectric grease here on the plug and then put some on the shank. Good coating of dielectric grease. So this MSD coil I put on at uh, 121,000 miles. I replaced those coils so that uh, coil has 80,000 miles on it in about six and a half years so I'll have to test it to make sure it it is bad but I'm just going to install a new coil on it
to start with and see if that cures my problem. So here we go. A good coat of dielectric grease on the insulator and then on the plug. I'm going to put a good nickel anti-seize on my little bolt. Slathering of anti-seize. So that's it. I'm going to reinstall it the same way I took it out. Just push it onto the into the hole and onto the plug and then put the bolt back in plug it back in and then put my pvc tube back on so here we are sit back up at the spark plug hole right here i'm going to blow it out and then reinstall the coil Start the truck, clear the fault codes, Let's see. read any new codes that might have come up. Oh, just it's running a self check, OBD2 system's not complete so it's running a self check so i'll have to drive the truck and see if i get a fault again but uh it's idling a couple hundred rpm faster so it, it seems like the new coil has helped that concludes the video if you found it helpful let me know in the comments and please subscribe